Good morning. This truly has been a journey for all of us that have been involved in this process of looking at the behavioral health needs of the fire service community. Today we're in Baltimore to roll out a new behavioral health model that the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation has been working on for the last four and a half years. A lot of lessons learned from 9-11 showed us that there needed to be a different approach for behavioral health for the fire and emergency services community. It's personal, it's up close, and it changes the nature of the game. Our new model that we're rolling out is really a comprehensive approach to firefighter behavioral health. Performing an AR provides a mechanism to improve your organization's operations. It will help you get better. The biggest lesson, I think, overall, is that one size of support doesn't fit everybody. Our early models were based upon coming in after the fact, after firefighters had dealt with something very difficult, and trying to have them talk through their feelings right in the aftermath of an event. This isn't always the most effective way to do things. Strong systems are distinguished by a few cardinal things. Well-run incidents in well-managed organizations, carried out by well-prepared providers with well-equipped units, well-conditioned personnel who are able to live well-grounded lives. You gotta make all those things happen if you really want to have healthy people in a healthy organization. This model says that we use processes every day that firefighters are using every day, both for themselves and to help the public that they serve, so that when there's a traumatic event, they already have the skills to just ramp it up a notch to help themselves through that trauma. Prior to this, we were very reactionary in that um, when, when an event happened, we would address the event. Now we're able to be a little bit more proactive in that we're looking at people and we're saying, you know, this is how they normally are and we just went to an event and he's, he's been different now. It's how do we solve problems and how do we make us, the we piece, better than we were yesterday. The AAR is that gateway to, a, to, to that matrix. It's step one. The old idea was that it was that if something bad happened, then you were going to have a problem down the road. We now know that that's not true, and the firefighters are very receptive to this new approach. We don't want an event-driven intervention. We want an intervention that's driven by changes in people's re reactions or functioning, something that actually is targeted for somebody showing some change in, in their response. We hope that it makes this type of support more acceptable and people feel like, oh, there's actually something I can do. I don't have to be a mental health professional. I think for quite some time, firefighters have been looking for something very practical that they can do. They want to look after each other and they want to look after the community. And I hope that um, this effort will truly ensure that those firefighters and their families will go home at the end of the day because that's what this is about, ensuring that everyone goes home.